This is Dr. Shannon Tran. Welcome to tip number 11 of 21 tips for up-leveling your personal leadership and efficiency. And today I want to share on the power of asking. So I want you to take a moment to just check in with yourself and ask, how good are you about asking? When I meet with busy professionals or executives, one of the things that I often find is that we make assumptions or we forget to ask or we're just so caught up in doing the work that we don't slow down to ask good questions that can really allow us to be more efficient, get more done in less time, and really make the impact that we are looking to make in our personal and professional lives. So a great reminder that I received was this $2 bill by someone who really helped me understand this concept of ask, ask, ask. So let me tell you a little story about this. Uh, a month ago, I was at a business boot camp and I was spending a lot of time with someone who was so good at embodying this quality of asking. And here's what I noticed that he did. When we both, he had checked into the hotel just as I had, and when I heard about some of the things that he received, I thought, wow, how did you get it? So he would tell me how he was able to save money by bringing food into his hotel room and heat it up and enjoy breakfast and be able to relax and not rush and so forth. I said, oh, my hotel room doesn't have a refrigerator. How did you get that? He said, I asked. Then I heard about his microwave. I said, how did you get that? He said, I asked. He ended up also asking to um, get an extension on when he could check out of the hotel. All of this he received simply by asking. And I want you to take a moment to really think about that for a second. Like, what a difference could it make for you if you began to ask instead of just make assumptions? Oh, my hotel room doesn't have a hotel. Or, oh, my boss said I had to do it this way. Or, oh, whatever reasons you give yourself. Because when we ask, we're opening up possibilities that we didn't see before. I want you to think about what you could be asking in your life that could make the difference for you. Perhaps for you, it could be to ask to work one day from home. Like, what would it look like for you if you could work one day from home instead of going to the office? What difference could it make into, into your productivity? Or what difference could it make in your life if you asked for a raise, if you were able to present to your boss all the positive differences that you're making, how you may go above and beyond, and how you, you know, what would it take for you to receive a raise? Just think about your life right now and ask yourself, how good are you at asking for what you want? It might be asking for support. It might be asking if someone has the information that you need. But I want to empower you. If you want to up-level your life, be more efficient. Ask, ask, ask. So if this is difficult for you, if you are noticing resistance or you have a fear of asking, you know, a lot of us do. A lot of us have been conditioned not to ask, right? A lot of us have been conditioned you're supposed to do everything on your own or asking is a weakness or I'm afraid to be rejected, whatever it may be. If this is difficult for you and you want help with learning how to ask with elegance and to ask with authority so you can be able to be much more efficient in your life, get the support that you need, reach out to me at support at shannontranphd.com. I would love to help you be able to be more efficient and up level your thinking so you can ask and receive. So tip number 11 of 21 days for up-leveling your personal leadership and being more efficient is ask, ask, ask. The power of asking. Okay, have a great day and see you next time for tip number 12. Take care now.